place to get situated so you can comfortably nod and just uh, do it. Toki, Toki coming over to tell me thanks for the food. say in my videos I like to pet my handle my dogs when they're eating teaches them not to be food aggressive <coughs> so he's over there trying to get Ookla's fish <laughs> over to say thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Toki tried to steal his, steal his chuck. That was fun to watch him interact. Now these are four males that are all intact. Fish, he's not sure. Why? Yeah, I like to handle all my dogs when they're eating. This is a bit food aggressive. What looks like guts in there is actually a uh, the yellow thing there. That, that, that's a, a, a rope that's frozen up. It's not part of the carcass. are perfectly safe for your dogs as I say in all my videos it's uh, cooked bones that are dangerous it's because cooking uh, changes the consistency of the bone it makes it hard brittle and indigestible to them and that in turn makes them prone to both obstructions and perforations uh, of the bowel uh, raw bones won't do that but you do want to make sure that they are chewing the bones up adequately as chewing is the first stage of digestion you know, if you see your dog after eating a meal uh, throwing it up later on with bones in it, uh, he, he didn't chew it up well enough. One of the ways you can teach your dogs to 
chew their food up better is to feed them large pieces like whole leg quarters and that uh, or uh, to uh, give them uh, large pieces that are fully frozen which then forces them to chew it. All oh, my dogs are real good about chewing food. Oh boy. They just like their fish frozen. You know I like to feed them the fish frozen because it really scrubs and cleans their teeth as they chew through it. Most fish you need to freeze for three days before feeding it. Uh, salmon and trout you need to feed a, a freeze a minimum of seven days. I typically avoid those uh, because uh, those two fish can carry a deadly parasite. If you want to look up more about that, uh, uh, Google uh, salmon poisoning in dogs. I have videos talking about that as well. He's almost got a leg ripped off of there. What's up, homie? Oh boy, you're welcome. Goats were each about 16 pounds a piece. You know, that's a fully gutted and clean. I can buy whole goats and uh, sheep from Restaurant Depot. Oh boy. I was able to buy these with some uh, generous donations to the channel. Thank you. Pet me face. Oh boy. <laughs> Toki trying to move around. I'm just gonna lay here and kinda snack on the end if you don't mind, Kurgan. T bar's almost fully got a leg ripped off there. Toki's pretending like he wants a ball, but uh, T bar knows better. Big man, Toki's gonna move it on your stuff. He already is. <laughs> Can we get moved back in there? grabbed a hold of K-bars and started pulling. I think that K-bar, that leg that K-bar is working on will probably pull off. Pet me face. Oh, yes. Good boy. <laughs> Even though he wants pets, he's always watching his food. <laughs> Good 
tenderloin pieces there. 